What's going on guys? Geosnode here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you what are the changes and the new features in iOS 11 beta 2. Now Apple has seeded beta 2 a couple hours ago for registered developers. So let's see how it looks like, if it's less or more buggy than the beta 1 and what is the battery life looking like. So I'm going to start with the fact that there are no major changes that we're going to, to see uh, and um, it relies a lot of uh, on the uh, bug fixes and on a little bit of enhancements here and there, but it also introduced a whole new bug series. They're pretty annoying. So overall, after a couple hours of use, I can tell you that uh, the beta 2 looks even worse than the beta 1. It's less, um, it's less stable than the beta 1 and it still has a lot of bugs. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with the feature is the photos application in here has been updated a bit. And um, if you open an application, sorry, um, inside the application, a photo, you no longer have the details button here on the right side on the uh, top. You have an edit button that is going to, you know, open the edit mode. The edit button used to be here uh, between the uh, heart and the trash can and it's no longer in there. They only left three of them and they moved it on the top. If you want to get the details, you have to swipe up on the photo and it's going to give you the details. And this is one of the new features. Speaking about other features and other changes. Yeah, as I said, buggy as hell. Speaking about other features on the control center in here, the flashlight and the low power mode icons are no longer uh, yellow, they are black when you open it, of course, like this, it used to be yellow, it's now black. And uh, they finally fixed the bug on the flashlight 3D touch or hard press menu. If you 3D touch on it, let me try to show you when it's uh, activated, it finally gives you this thing in here. At least on my iPod Touch, it used to only show the uh, blurred background with nothing in here. So it's now showing that up, which is quite okay. Speaking about bugs, they still did not fix the Bluetooth bug. So I'm going to activate Bluetooth from here. You can see it is activated, but if I try to disable it from here, it's not even showing that it's activated. Anyways, now it shows up. If I want to disable it from here, it's not disabling, so it's still activated. This is a bug from beta 1 and it's still, uh, apparently it's still on the beta 2. You still have to disable Bluetooth from here. Speaking about another bug that is apparently very interesting, if I am in an application like settings and I open a seg, for example the general, and I try to, uh, you know, close this application, as you can see, there is absolutely nothing happening. I mean, it looks like closing the app, but it shows this blurred background in here instead of going to the home screen. And if you press anywhere on the screen or on the, uh, on the uh, home button, it's going to give you this thing. But what if you go back in here and let's try this again, go in here. Sorry, I'm going to go to software update. Okay. I'm going to do this, I'm going to try to close it. As you can see, it still doesn't show anything, it's still blurred, blurred, which is definitely bad. Now, speaking about other features, as I say, there are no uh, big features available. There are a couple of modifications to the do not disturb while driving, and there are a lot of bug fixes. Now, another thing that is important is on the apps, uh, on the App Store side, let me try to, apparently I have disabled Wi-Fi, even though it's showing up. Okay, now it works. Um, the uh, applications had a bug in the beta one that lets you download apps that are bigger than 100 megabit, which of course that, that was over a data plan, over your cellular connection, which was of course restricted normally on iOS. You cannot download apps that are bigger than 100 megabit on your data plan, on your uh, cellular connection. But in beta one, you could do that, which was of course something bad because that would result in a very big uh, cost on your phone bill if you if you update an application that is over one gigabit, for example, GarageBand, that would be very bad. So they have uh, fixed that and um, it's now finally fixed. It's now finally working. As you can see, some applications do not even close. For example, I try to close the App Store. Okay, it looks like closed. And if you press the home button, it's still open and it doesn't close. I mean, how, how the hell can I close this now? Yeah. So uh, you need to, to go back to the uh, home screen and try to close it from here. Nope, it doesn't close. As you can see, you're not able to close some of the applications. It will still show up in there. 
finally. Yeah, it was closed. So you have to try a couple times before it closes the application, which using, which didn't used to be like that in the iOS 11 beta 1. Anyways, this is pretty much the iOS 11 beta 2. If you want to download it, you can probably find it in your um, in your settings like this, if you have the profile or if you're on iOS 11 beta 1. As I said, it's for developers. You can see all the changes and all the bug fixes available here on developer.com slash um, go slash ID iOS 11 SDK RN. And yeah, this is pretty much it. Till the next time, do not forget, I'm uh, Geosnow. Subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.